out the Miller story, I'm not much of a bard, but I guess I am sort of a storyteller. <clears throat> and that was riding his horse when he came across a giant. It yelled, HALT! Who goes there? And stuff. The knight looked over the horrible giant and said, I will tell if you do three tasks for me. <laughs> the foolish giant agreed. First task, the knight started, make me new boots from the finest animal you see. The giant grabbed a nearby farmer's plow mule and set it next to the knight, placed him on the mule. He then ripped the skin from off the living horse right in front of the knight. The knight was furious that his noble steed was slaughtered right in front of him, and he yelled, All right, next task! The giant frowned and said, but I was just about to get my sewing needle. The knight said, your next task has to give me all of your gold. The giant proceeds to pick his nose and flex a humongous book right next to the knight and the mule. Last task! The knight screamed, bring me the head of the most mythical creature. The giant was flabbergasted. All the unicorns had died in the great flood. Then he realized something. He ripped off his own head and gave it to the knight and flopped over dead. It was a really stupid giant. I'm just going to say that flat out. It was so dumb. Okay? How dumb was it? So dumb he'd rip off his Very. own pet, apparently. And I quickly got on the ass and rode down the path he was on like heck. He soon met the king and told his tale. The king was about to ask the knight to do another quest for him when the knight interrupted, No, 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 the journey is done. My horse's hide is spurred. The end. Thank <laughs> you.